In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can produce the lattice plot using the Origin software. So here I have the Origin Pro 2021 version open. And to produce the lattice plot, I need to use my CSV files. So this is a regular CSV file that is produced as the output of the iterate simulation. For the lattice plot, you need to go all the way to the right and you see there are three columns of X, Y, and Z. This X, Y, and Z show the coordinate of each single atom. So if you want to create the lattice plot, we need firstly to know where these atoms are located. So we need their coordinates. And uh, by having this coordinate, we can produce this lattice plot. But other than their location, we also need to know what is the magnetic moment of each atom. And this magnetic moment is represented by the X, uh, MX column, MY column, uh, and Z column. So to produce the lattice plot, we need both the coordinate and also we need to map these intensities on each atom. So let's see how we can do this with origin. To start uh, using this information in origin, I firstly copy these three columns and then I will go to the origin software. I have opened and work, I have opened a workbook from um, earlier, but if you want to open a new workbook, you can simply go to this tab and click on that and you will have a new workbook. So I will add this information here. So I just copied them from CSV file and paste them here. And I will uh, actually put these titles on the top then I need also the magnetization. So whatever I do here for the X direction, that's also applicable for the Y and Z direction. So that would be the method would be totally similar. So I will just go with the X direction for now. So I have chosen, selected this column and copy that and go back to the um, origin and paste it here. So again, the title should be go on the, should be, on the top. And now I have both the coordinates of atom and also the intensities of the magnetic moment in the x direction. So to produce this lattice plot, something similar to what we have produced by Python, we firstly need to produce the scatter plot or showing the 3D configuration of the model of the uh, MTJ MSD device. So for this purpose, I firstly highlight these three columns. And I will plot them. So by for uh, plot, you have many different options. If you go to this tab and then go to scatter plot, 3D scatter plot, you will see the image. But let's see what happens if we do that. Click on OK. And you see there is a very strange image here. So this is not what we expect. This is not the lattice plot. And there is a problem that should be fixed. So to fix this problem, I firstly delete this image because I don't need it. And then go back to the software again. You see that there is uh, the first column by default is the X column and all other columns are considered as Y. So if you want to produce a, an X, Y, Z configuration, or three-dimensional configuration, you have to define these columns first. So we have X column, Y column, and we also need a Z column. So this column should be set to Z. I will click, right-click on that and set this column as the Z column. And let's repeat and see what happens. Here we go. Now we have the correct pattern of the 3D lattice plot and we can see all the points uh, under, uh, under correct location. Uh, so this is just the 3D configuration. We don't have the magnetic moment information here. But as we explained earlier, each of these atoms has a specific intensity in terms of magnetization. So for this purpose, I need this information in the G column. So if I want to show the magnetic moment along the X direction, I need to map this information on the lattice plot. So for this purpose, what I can do is, I will double click on this image. And since this is a 3D plot, um, based on your system properties, your system uh, specification, your graphic card, 
this may take a little bit longer or slower or actually faster, but um, finally you can see this uh, actually information after you double click on that. So to map this information, the magnetic moment information, I will go to this color option here and then I will select by point. When you click on that, there are different options here. When you choose the color mapping, it gives you all columns in your workbook. So you can map any information from your workbook on this lattice plot. And since my magnetic moment information are in the Z are in the X direction, I will choose this one. And then I will click on apply and see what happens. So now we have the lattice plot with its correct format because it also not only shows the coordinate of each point and the location of each atom, it also shows uh, the magnetic moment in the X direction and the magnetic intensity along the X direction. So you can repeat exactly the same thing if you want to produce lattice plot along the Y direction or Z direction. Um, you can also copy the whole data set and paste it here or drag it here in, the, in your workbook, but I don't suggest it because that might be a little bit confusing when you have tons of data that you don't need. So when you want to, when you produce this image, you might need to see this image from, this, from different angles. So for this purpose, you press the R key on your keyboard and then use your mouse to rotate your image. So you can see simply your image in different directions. And this is uh, the feature that we have also in the Python code. So Origin is also able to do that. Another thing is you may want to focus on a specific point. You might, to, you might want to, for example, zoom on the molecule. So for this uh, case, you press the control key and then use the scrolling uh, circle on your mouse and then you can zoom in and zoom out. So you see the resolution is very good. You can distinguish between points and you can take a snapshot at different points and you can see uh, all details of your lattice plot. So this is how we can produce the lattice plot using this uh, origin software. But there are other features that we can use. So if we want to um, show, you see when this is a 3D plot, moving this plot or making changes might be a little bit time consuming or it can be slow. So you can also change the circles uh, in these uh, images, these spheres into 2D features, then your plot would move faster and you can make changes faster. So I'm going to double click again on this image. And I can simply choose 2D instead of 3D. And I also change the size into three to make it more distinguishable or five and then apply. So you see that now instead of spheres, you have um, circles. 